Tom Nook, why can't I quit you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Saylor, I'm blind, and if you're wondering how I'm able to play video games if I'm blind, if you take a look at the video here, you will see exactly what I see when I'm playing video games. Hi, welcome, how are you? I hope you're safe, I hope your loved ones are safe. I know this is a troubling and kind of really uh, sort of stressful time that we're in, especially when we're having to be able to stay home uh, a lot. So this video is essentially for those who are um, who have a disability and you're trying to be able to find a game to be able to play uh, because I think games are a great way for escape, new worlds that we haven't uh, seen or played before. So I got the idea for this video actually, I was chatting with my friend uh, James Rath who is also a blind YouTuber. He was putting together a video on what blind people can be able to uh, do during this uh, whole global pandemic and he wanted to ask me about uh, some games I would recommend that are accessible. So I told him a few and you can be able to actually check out that video link is in the description down below. Um, but today, essentially, I'm gonna expand on that list that I, uh, that I gave him, and I'm just gonna talk about some of the amazing accessible games that are out there. Now, some of these games may not be for you or your specific disability type, and that's totally fine. My hope is, at least with this list, that you can be able to find at least one or more games that you haven't been able to try before. Uh, the first game I'm gonna talk about, obviously, that a lot of us are, are playing right now is obviously Animal Crossing. I've been playing like crazy uh, since it came out. It's been an amazing sort of distraction while not great for for all disabilities there are definitely some things in there that can definitely help you play uh, and i want to say actually as well that most uh, nintendo first party games are in a similar boat um, but there are games that uh, that could be playable by some and not playable by others so i would take a look and see what works best for you a lot of the first party nintendo games there's at least something in there that can be able to help out uh, for certain players uh, or disabled players not every game is going to be great uh, uh, there's definitely some that definitely don't do as well, um, but for the most part, uh, they are uh, at least a little bit accessible for uh, for disabled players. Another game that I'm currently playing a lot of, and if you if you're new to this channel, you may not know, I'm a huge Destiny 2 fan. Um, it's a great time to be able to jump into Destiny 2 as of right now. It may seem daunting because there's so much lore and so much game uh, that is uh, that is out there. But what's great is actually this uh, this past September they kind of revamped the entire game um, and. In, in, in a good way, honestly. They actually created a version of Destiny uh, called Destiny 2 New Light, where you can basically jump in, it's free to play, you can jump into the world and figure and, and sort of create your character and join in on some of the uh, kind of public uh, events and public worlds that they're, they're out there. There's also the three um, previous DLC uh, campaign stories, so you got Red War, Curse of Osiris, and Warmind that you can be able to play for free, and then each expansion beyond that is an additional, I think, like 20, 30 bucks, depending on which country you're in. Um, so you have Forsaken and also Shadowkeep are the two most recent ones. I'm actually playing with my, with my brother and he uh, got it for free and we're going through the Red War together, uh, playing it, and it's been great just to be able to kind of connect with him even when he's stuck at home and in a different part of the city than I am. Uh, so it's I would highly recommend. It's a great time to be able to jump in. Uh, obviously, in the kind of the games of service sort of trend, Obviously, Fortnite and Apex Legends uh, are two that I would definitely uh, recommend as well. Fortnite, from what it's updated, there actually is some uh, quite a bit of uh, really cool settings that kind of can be able to make it accessible. And you can be able to jump into Fortnite on every platform. It's free to play. Same with Apex Legends. When it first came out, originally had the ping system uh, that was revolutionary in Battle Royale type games where you can just hit a button and you can be able to uh, let your teammates know of what things are in the, are in the environment and what enemies are nearby. That kind kind of thing and it's a really great for accessibility a great way to be able to just jump in for a battle royale if you're if you're not interested in sort of the Fortnite style of, of gameplay another game that I would recommend that's also that's on Xbox Game Pass and I've talked about it before I've done two videos already on this uh, on this channel the Outer Worlds I originally didn't recommend this uh, when I first put out my video on Outer Worlds uh, but mostly because of font size um, but they've updated it now you can be able to increase your font size and it's a it's a great RPG would re definitely recommend uh, that game 
game uh, to be able to play if you're interested in kind of like a really uh, deep world, if you're into sci-fi, you're in RPGs, uh, that's a great game to be able to play. And it's accessible definitely for, for people like myself that are visually disabled. Uh, another game that's also really good for accessibility is Gears 5 uh, by The Coalition. They put a lot of effort into the accessibility. Um, obviously received a perfect score on caniplaythat.com for its deaf and hard of hearing accessibility, which is great. And then there's definitely some uh, really cool accessibility features to, for different disability types in that game. Um, they also consulted with uh, a friend of ours uh, 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 within the community, Sightless Combat. Uh, he loves the Gear series and he's also blind and he was able to consult with the coalition on, on Gears 5, which was really cool to be able to see. So I would definitely recommend that game. It's also on Xbox Game Pass and on uh, console and on PC. And if you haven't played any of the Gears games, don't worry. There actually is a little video that you, to, that you can find within the settings uh, that actually sort of give you the story so far so that you don't, uh, like you can actually catch up to what's actually happening in Gears 5 so that you don't feel like you're missing out. I kind of felt that way too when I sort of like, Gears 5, like does that mean I have to play all four games in order to be able to play this this one? No, you don't have to. You can be able to jump into Gears 5 and, and still be able to at least get the majority of what the story is for it. Another game that actually was recommended to me by Courtney at uh, caniplaythat.com, she recommends State of Decay 2. Uh, I haven't personally played it myself, but uh, it actually uh, has some, I looked into it, it actually does have some pretty decent settings and, and accessibility. Um, so I would recommend checking that out. If you're kind of a little bit more in like in the retro style games is definitely the game Celeste. You've heard me talk about it and you play it, play it on my channel before, uh, but Celeste is great because of its assist mode. Uh, it's a great, it's a platformer that is amazing, but it also has like a great story. Um, and in the assist mode is one of the amazing aspects of the game that um, is not labeled as, as accessibility, but they had uh, the developers understood that not th their current play style for the game is not uh, it is not the same play style as other players. They added the ability to be able to turn on invincibility so you, you don't die. You can uh, slow down the game's speed so it makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to see. There's a lot of diff like a lot of different features that are in there that are amazing and make it more accessible for uh, multiple like tons of players to be able to jump in and play. If you're new to this channel, you may not know this. If you're also a subscriber, you probably would know about this game. Way of the Pacifist is developed by an indie studio actually here in Toronto. I got to talk to uh, the head of the, uh, the studio, uh, Jason Canham, um, who helped to uh, who basically co-created this game. Uh, and it's it's an amazing game, has a ton of accessibility. If you're into sort of like the old Super Nintendo, like old school, like Street Fighter kind of uh, fighting games, uh, this is a great uh, sort of game for you. Uh, it basically, it has a ton of accessibility features for not only just remapping controls, but has a ton for visual disabilities uh, and also for uh, deaf and hard hearing. But if you're not into that sort of style, I totally get it. But I definitely would at least recommend trying it out. It's uh, it's relatively cheap on on pretty much almost every platform. So that's kind of it. That's kind of all the games that I would at least recommend. There's a ton of also other games that are out there too that I know that I probably have missed. If you have any suggestions or if there's games that uh, you would recommend, leave a comment down below or uh, send me a tweet on at Steve Saylor on Twitter to continue the conversation there. I'd love to be able to hear your suggestions and hopefully we can be able to find a game while we are uh, at home and trying to find uh, something to distract us uh, and we run out of our uh, new shows and movies to watch on Netflix. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like or if you want to be able to keep up on all the videos I put out, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified when new videos come out, you can be able to hit that bell notification icon. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time in the next video. As always, I remain obediently yours. Bye.